<laughs> okay, so yesterday we were talking about functions and what a function is and evaluating functions. Any questions on any of that stuff? Okay, so today we're just resuming the conversation. Today we're going to talk about um, one to one and onto functions. So one to one and onto are two like characteristics that a function can have. There are two adjectives used to describe certain functions. Okay, so um, let's just talk about each one separately. So a wait, let's first just remember uh, in a function. X values can only be used one time, right? X values can only be used one time. Okay, so one to one, a function is one to one if Y values are also only used one time. That's what one to one is. So a function is one to one. So it's kind of easy to tell when a function is one to one in certain situations, particularly if it's just a list of points or something like that. So if I had something like um, f is the set containing some points, um, so for example, 0, 1, 5, 2, 3, 1. Okay, this is obviously not one to one, because even though it's a function, x values are only used once, there's two different points that have the same y value. So this is not one to one. Not one to one. So that's kind of easy to tell if it's a list of points. You just examine the y values and just see if there, if there are any repeated. Same thing goes for if it happens to be an arrow diagram. It's easy to tell if it's if it's one-to-one uh, -one or not. So if I have this set negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, and then another set of numbers, two, four, six, eight. How am I going to tell? Before I actually draw my arrows, what are you looking for for one-to-one? -one? Like, how, how are you going to be able to tell if it's not one-to-one? -one? If there's an equal number of x and y values. Okay, yeah, if there's an equal number of x and y values, um, that's one way. And another way is just to look at this set and see if there's any any number that has two arrows going to it. That's basically it, right? But that's a good way to think about it. I didn't think about that. So, like, uh, if I have something like this, I want to make sure it's a, a function, so the x values are used only once. As long as the y values are used only once, this function is definitely one-to-one. -one. This is... Again, really easy to tell, I think. Don't you think? Okay. So um, the ones where it's a little bit harder to tell would be graphs and equations. So let's talk about those for just a second. So suppose I have a graph, okay? And suppose it's a graph of like a cubic function that kind of looks like that. Is this one-to-one -one or not? Are you sure? 
How do you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a horizontal line test. That's exactly what I'm getting at. Yeah, if you look at like these three points right here, they all have the same y value, right? They all lie on the same horizontal line. So this function is not, even though it is definitely a function, it passes the vertical line test, it's not one-to-one -one because it doesn't pass the horizontal line test. So this um, is not one-to-one. -one. Since it fails the horizontal line test. It should make logical sense to you that if a horizontal line crosses through a graph twice, that those two points of intersection correspond to two points that have the same y value. And that's the opposite of what one-to-one -one is, right? So just as a review, the vertical line test, the vertical line test tests if f of x is a function. Horizontal line test tests if f of x is one to one. Okay, so you got to keep that straight. The test if a graph is one to one, you do the horizontal line test. Okay, so if I had something like a logarithm graph. This would definitely be one to one, right? Because it passes the vertical line test and it passes the horizontal line test. So this is definitely one to one. Okay? So the fourth type of representation of a function, remember, there's four ways to represent functions a list of points, an arrow diagram, a graph, and an equation, right? So the, the fourth one is an equation. To determine what it, if an equation is one-to-one, -one, you just have to kind of picture its graph. And if its graph would pass the uh, horizontal line test, then it would be one-to-one, -one. okay? Um, so there's kind of a limited, um, a limited array of equations they could possibly give you. It has to be something that you kind of know what its graph looks like, okay? So for example, if they gave you something like f of x equals uh, 2 over x minus 7. You could say this graph is 1 to 1. Okay, this is 1 to 1. Because I know what its graph kind of looks like. I mean, I'm not going to spend the time to get a really accurate picture of what its graph looks like. But I know it's a, it's a transformation of 1 over x, right? So if this is a transformation of 1 over x, that means it kind of looks like this, there's an asymptote vertically and horizontally, and it kind of goes like that. But 1 over x definitely passes both the vertical and horizontal line tests. So that transformation of it must also pass both the vertical and horizontal line tests. It doesn't matter if you stretch this or shrink it or move it left or right. It's still going to pass the vertical and horizontal line tests. Does that make sense, that sort of analysis that I just did? Whereas if I gave you a function that was like, for example, f of x equals um, absolute value of x plus 3 um, minus 2. This is not 1 to 1, right? This is not 1 to 1, because I know roughly what that looks like. I mean, I could, I could spend the time to figure out exactly what it looks like, but I know generally what it looks like is it's a V-shaped graph, right? Because that's what absolute value of X looks like. This happens to be a V-shaped graph that's moved three to the left and two down. Who cares about that stuff? If a V-shaped graph fails the horizontal line test, then any transformation of that V-shaped graph is also going to fail the horizontal line test. So that's sort of how you have to think about it. Same thing goes for like a, a polynomial. Like suppose I have a polynomial like 
f of x equals um, 3x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth um, plus x cubed minus x squared over 3 plus x minus 1. I don't really know what that graph looks like, but I know its general shape. Its general shape is it's a fifth degree polynomial. And remember, fifth degree polynomials, if you if you remember, there's like a pattern, right? So squareds kind of look like this, if, if the median coefficient is positive. Cubes kind of look like this in general. Fourth degree polynomials kind of look like a W. Fifth degree polynomials kind of look like cube, but with an extra little hump, right? So they kind of go like that. Do fifth degree polynomials pass the horizontal line test? Generally, no. I mean, it's possible that, that these humps could be flattened out so that they do, but if there's all these terms, that's not the case. Okay? So you'd say this is not one to one. Okay, so for equations to determine whether or not they're one to one, you have to picture their graphs and just determine if their graphs pass the horizontal line test or not. Okay? Any questions on that? Yeah, sure. You want me to do any other examples of that situation? Okay. So then the second adjective that I wanted to talk about for functions is onto. So one to one and onto. Uh, one to one means it passes the horizontal line test or y values you use only once. A function is onto. Onto a particular set of numbers if um, every number in that set is matched up with a y with an x value. So if every number that set is, is used as a y value, is what I'll say, is used as a y value in the function. So, like for example, if I have an arrow diagram, it's easy to tell if it's onto. Suppose I have this set of numbers, one, two, three, and this set of numbers, um, uh, four, five, six, and it goes like this. Okay, it's definitely a function. Each x value is used only once. It's definitely not one to one because five is used twice, and it's also not onto. Because there's a y value, a potential y value here that's not being used. Okay? This is not onto. Okay? So that's how you can tell if it's onto or not. If, if Are there any y values that are unused? If there are, it's not onto. How does that, like, not like. <laughs> like, what do you mean? like wait, how would you get a, a value that is just used, like, in a graph? Oh, okay. That's a good question. Like, suppose I have a parabola, right? If I have a parabola, there are definitely some y values that aren't being used. In fact, all these y values in here aren't being used, right? So this is this is not onto the real numbers. Okay? Because there are some real numbers, negative numbers, that aren't being mapped to in this in this function, okay? But if I look at something like a step function, the greatest integer function, remember this weird thing? It looks like this. I can actually say this function is onto the integers. Right? Every 
every single integer is being used as a y value in this function, right? Remember how this graph is laid out. The, these steps occur at integers, like there's one, there's two, this is negative one, negative two, right? The, each integer is being used as a y value. This function is not one to one. It definitely fails the horizontal line test, but it is a function and it's onto. It's onto the integers. Okay, you'd have to specify which set of numbers it's onto. Like this arrow diagram up here, it's not onto the set containing four, five, and six. It is onto the set containing four and five, if that's the set I'm looking at. You know what I mean? So it has to be more, more specifically uh, stated. But in an arrow diagram, you just assume this is the set we're talking about. So if the arrow doesn't go to every single, if there's not an arrow going to every single number, then you just say it's not onto. It's not onto that set that you're talking about. Okay. If I had something like, if they said y equals x cubed, and they want to know if that uh, function is onto the real numbers, yes or no? Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Because x cubed goes like this. Every single y value is definitely being used. So this is a one-to-one -one and onto function. This is one-to-one. -one And onto. Okay? So that's basically it for the homework tonight. You just have to know these definitions. What does it mean to be one to one? What does it mean to be onto? And you have to be able to recognize that whether the function is represented as a list of points, an arrow diagram, a graph, or an equation. Any questions? It's kind of easy stuff. I'm going to stop recording.